This is One on One. We are pleased to welcome Robin Goodman, who is executive producer of Bucks County Playhouse, America's most famous summer theater. Who said yes. that? The world. The world. The world. <laughs> and by the way, opened in 1939, is that true? Yes. Yes, 38 or 39. Yeah. What's the deal with this big, iconic place? You know, I think it's because it's set in the most beautiful place in the world. It's on the Delaware River. It's in this beautiful town. The whole area is, you know, filled with gorgeous houses and mm. beautiful places. And uh, it, it's got shops and restaurants, and it developed. It started like a Hamptons kind of place. Oscar Hammerstein moved there, Moss Hart, George Kaufman. And it was like an influx of artists. So uh, they found this old mill that was about to be uh, pulled down, and it was right on the river. And they said, let's do some theater out here and encourage new work and do our shows and do other people's shows. Now, anyone famous ever play at this theater? Oh, yes. Such as? Such as Grace Kelly. No. Uh, yes, Helen Hayes. Now you're going to say Robert Redford. Ro <laughs> <laughs> you read my bio. Uh, Robert Redford did a play called Nobody Loves Me, which went to Broadway and became Barefoot in the Park. Wow. Yes. Dick Van Dyke? Dick Van Dyke. Are we looking at right now? Oh, that's yes, wild. that's right. And Thornton Wilder starred in Our Town as the stage manager just because he wanted to see what was wrong with the play, what wasn't working. Is that interesting, the connection between the theater and your place um, and Broadway? Yes. Is well, that the it, it, well they, they wanted to experiment, but they were such talented artists that, artists that were going, even Bob Fosse was out there at one point. Is that true? That it was, yes, that it was inevitable that things would move. Like when Jed Bernstein uh, took over the theater, he did a play with Tyne Daly called Mothers and Sons that moved to Broadway, and we're hoping at some point the same thing will happen for us. But that's what it was started for, to, to do new work. Now, what's so interesting is that you had this incredible, it's very impressive background. Um, now, on Broadway, connection to Cinderella? Yes, Rodgers and Hammerstein Cinderella, yes. Your connection is? I developed it with the Rodgers and Hammerstein uh, Foundation. Stop and bragging. <laughs> so, you, okay, so you got this. So I got background. a new book writer for it, is what I did. So look at this. You got that, yes. right? Yes. So you've got the Broadway connection. Yes. But you've got this connection, right, with your yes. friends over at the Bucks County Playhouse. Correct. Give us the biggest difference. Well, the Bucks County Playhouse is a not-for-profit organization. We live on donations. But you're running a business. And we're running a business, yes, absolutely. The difference, I don't think there is a difference. We want to do high-quality theater, like our subscription series for this summer. We're trying to get the best sure. directors and artists in there that we possibly can. Last summer we had Chris Durang in his own play with Mary Lou Henner. And Marsha Mason was in a play. Great people. Yeah, and Hunter Foster, who's a Broadway actor, director, is directing for us. It's not like the standards are lower. No way. No way. I won't allow it. I just won't allow it. We, we are doing the best work we can there for this community. We want to become the center, the artistic home of this community. Uh, we're very involved, actually, with the schools. And we, you know, we have an education program that's wonderful. Hester Kamen runs, and it's, it does all kinds of things for teenagers. What's Girl Speak? Girl Speaks, my favorite program. Thank you. What's it all about? Uh, it's about letting girls, teenage, young teenage girls and preteen girls, talk about the issues that are concerning them. What does and, that have to do with theater? Well, because we turn them into theatrical events. We turn them into monologues and, and little plays and uh, ways of expressing themselves so that they can discuss it with each other and they can sort of liberate their feelings about what's going on. Because, you know, girls are getting harassed at that age all the time mm -hmm. with different kinds of pressures and and boys and all that stuff that bullying, you Bullying, cyberbullying. Bullying, cyberbullying. Somebody was just telling me outside about her daughter being cyberbullied. It's terrible. It's very real. Girls yes. need that platform. There's no I'm question. I'm curious about this. Um, other than the fact that uh, at your playhouse, new works are important, right? Yes. You know, How do you do that? We started something called the Oscar Hammerstein Festival with the Hammerstein, the Oscar Hammerstein, Hammerstein Festival. Festival with the Hammerstein family. Uh, where we're developing new musicals because my career in New York has, starting with Avenue Q and in the Heights, has mostly been about developing new musicals. And so we're doing it out there now. And we did the first two where it's a mentorship program where we bring in <coughs> professionals and they work with these emerging writers who are working on their new mus musicals. And we do panels and readings and, and we're still working on the first two and we're going to have another festival in the fall. And it's fun for the people in the mm. community because they, they're interested in see how things change and get better, and it's a long process developing musicals. Trick question. Yes. Ready for it? Yeah. 
When did you know? When did I know? When did you know theater would be your My life? mother was an actress <laughs> on radio and a writer on, no. the, on the Skippy Peanut Butter Hour. And she wanted to be in the theater more than anything. And then she had married my dad, and the war came, and he had, you know, she had to have a baby, and she had to give it up. And so she took me to the theater when I was four and a half years old. Do you, do you remember? Royal Shakespeare Company doing, uh, I can't remember, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. And I fell in love. Who did you I, fall in love with? The, those people on the stage, the fact that they were expressing feelings and and doing things that were larger than life and also being loved. I think people who go into the theater really want to be loved. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I'm seriously? I seriously do. And, and be knew, heard. And be heard. And you knew that theater would be? Uh, yes. I, wanted, I came to New York as an actress, actually. And it's a great way to become a producer. Final question. Um, some folks say, well, you're in New York. You're doing great stuff. You come out to Bucks County for the Bucks County Playhouse. Why make the move from New York to Bucks County? Because I can do, like, we can do a season out there that starts with a musical called National Pastime. We can do a brand new musical called a Animal Crackers. We can do a play. Uh, we can do a whole season of plays, which we're selling right now, by the way. And we can do it for a tenth of the price. We can do great work out there. It's a beautiful theater. It's a beautiful stage. The renovation is impeccable. And I don't have to worry about all the union issues and all the costs that doing Broadway. It costs $13 million to do Cinderella. It would probably cost uh, $175,000, $200,000 to do a musical out there. i got to ask you this one. Yes. I don't know if you hear me ask our last guest what's the most important. What is the most important leadership lesson you have learned in all of your work? I think it's very important to let the people you hire do their jobs and that you keep your eye on the big picture. And I also believe you always tell the truth and you always show up for the hard stuff. Tell the truth even when it hurts people. Yes, kindness. Kindness is very important. And when you fire somebody, you have to be kind and, and compassionate about it, as well as when you congratulate someone. Good stuff, great advice. And we wish you nothing but the best. Robin Thank you. Goodman, executive producer. Come. To the Bucks <laughs> County Playhouse. It's America's be most famous summer theater. Uh, weekday, weekend, when, what? Come anything? all the time. We play all week, uh, weekends, uh, matinees, Sundays, Saturdays. Tell everyone where it is. Oh, it's, uh, it's right in the center of New Hope, Pennsylvania. Right by the, what's the bridge right there? That's called the uh, Lambertsville. And what, Lambertville's on one side, right? New Jersey. And New Hope is on the other. And New Hope is on the Pennsylvania yeah, side. Yeah, and the Delaware River is gorgeous. And what's the, the festival over there with the fish? I don't the know. Chat, the chat, the chat Festival. Oh, I, I've never been to See, that. See, I know these things. I've only been there a year. <laughs> okay, it's beautiful stuff. It is. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best, Robin. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad that New York lost you. We got you. Thanks. Uh, stay with us right <laughs> back right after this. Thank you very much. Thank you. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by University Hospital, Newark, New Jersey, Felician College, Qualcare, Inc., Investors Bank, United Water, Verizon Communications, and by the Russell Berry Foundation. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.